हेलो एंड वेलकम इन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल मेटोलॉजिकल फैक्ट सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन यू कैन आल्सो फॉलो अस ऑन आवर फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम पेज फॉर डेली क्विजेज एंड प्रैक्टिस इन केस ऑफ एनी क्वेरी राइट अस ऑन मेटोलॉजिकल फैक्ट एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी अंडरस्टूड द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आयरन एंड एल्यूमिनियम and the objective of this video is to introduce most commonly used non ferrous metal copper so we will start from the few amazing facts related to the copper just to see the importance and ancient applications of copper and its alloys so in our list one uh, first one is the statue of liberty which is in new york and this statue was a gift of friendship from the people of france to the united states this statue is made up of 80 to 90 tons of copper and that green layer on this Uh, statue which you can observe in figure uh, is of copper sulfate that forms on the surface of the metal due to the corrosion however this layer is protective and protects the metal from corrosion since 1886 the next one is the dead sea scrolls the dead sea scrolls which is found in israel was written on copper instead of more usual brittle parchment and the next one is Uh, the one of the seven wonders of the world the crosses of roads which was made of, uh, made by using bronze which is copper which is copper based alloy it is it was destroyed by an earthquake and the bronze was sold as scrap this was earliest example of copper recycling so this picture is not of crosses of roads because of copyright issues we did not put the exact figure to understand these things we need to understand the basics of copper which includes its properties and behavior therefore we will uh, try to understand the introduction of copper copper was one of the first metal used by man copper and its alloy is most commonly used in various application because it is a malleable and ductile metal these are the basic characteristics of copper copper is non ferrous metallic element cu is used as symbol to represent copper Atomic number of copper is 29 and atomic mass is 63.54 AMU. The specific gravity of copper is 8.96. The crystal structure of copper is FCC at room temperature. Melting point of copper is 1083 degree centigrade and boiling point is 2562 degree centigrade. Now we will see few important properties of copper which is very important in applications point of view. so copper is good corrosion resistant metal a green layer forms on a surface which protects it from corrosion so the next one is uh, uh, copper is antibacterial means copper compounds have been used as bacteriostatic agent it is useful to slow down the growth of bacteria this is one of the reason behind using it in utensils copper is a excellent uh, conductor of electricity and a uh, thermal conductivity is also very good in case of copper copper is non magnetic in nature and this metal is easily recyclable lumps of pure copper or native copper were sometimes found exposed on the surface of the ground and native copper rarely occurs in nature and the majority of native copper reserves have been exhausted so now we will see the ore minerals of the copper which is present today today the copper is most commonly present in earth crust as the as the copper iron sulfide and copper sulfide minerals such as chalcopyrite bornite chalcosite and cobalite the sulfide minerals are the predominant and it gives 90% of the copper supply of the world the 30 the percentage of the copper which is shown here is the theoretical copper content the theoretical copper contain uh, large amount of copper but actually ores contains only small amounts of copper due to the presence of other sulfides and gang minerals and a sulfide ore that contains 0.5 to 2% of copper is considered as good for the extraction purpose copper is also occur in 
occurs in oxidized minerals such as carbonates and oxides and also few ore and minerals are form, uh, found in the form of sulfates which is also listed here so after understanding the basic properties and mineralogical characteristics of copper ore we will try to understand the concept behind the copper production from its natural ores so basically there are two routes of copper making the first one is pyrometallurgical route and the next one is hydrometallurgical route the extraction of copper by the pyrometallurgical route is a conventional route the first step in this process is concentration in which by using the froth flotation process copper is concentrated in the copper sulfide normally 15 to 35% copper is found in concentrate after concentration process roasting is done uh, on the copper concentrate so the objective of roasting is to partially oxidize the iron sulfides for removing it in the smelting stage and also burn off part of the sulfur the extent of roasting determines the copper grade of the mat produced in smelting stage so we use the term mat the mat is a varying mixture of the copper and iron sulfide such as u2s and fes once the roasting is done smelting is employed in the reverberatory furnace to uh, to the concentrate of the copper into the mate to eliminate the gang material in slag the next stage is converting in which iron and sulfur and other impurities from mat have been removed side blown converter is used for this purpose and the product of this stage is blister copper which is having 98.5 to 99% of copper after this process uh, electrolytically refining of impure copper is done for the production of pure copper the next process is hydrometallurgical route about 20% of the world's uh, total production of copper is done by the hydrometallurgical route the hydrometallurgical process is uh, used for uh, used for the oxidized ores or low grades of sulfide ores in this process uh, the first stage is preparation of ore in which the ore is reduced to small the uh, to small size after reducing the uh, uh, small size uh, the ore is employed to the leaching h2so4 is used for the leaching purpose the product of uh, the leaching uh, the leaching type of leaching used in this process uh, in in copper production is heap leaching uh, in in this uh, heap leaching the pregnant solution containing 1 to 6% copper ions per meter cube after this step it is sent for the solvent extraction in solvent extraction provides um, uh, the means for producing pure and high copper ions electrolytes from dilute impure pregnant leach solutions after this it is subjected to the electrowinning process in which we get pure copper metal at cathode we will try to understand all these terms and the roots of the copper production in our upcoming videos of extraction of non ferrous metals in details copper is the uh, most important non ferrous metal and it can be used in alloy as well as unalloyed state the most useful properties of pure copper include excellent electrical conductivity which is second only after the silver uh, copper wire uh, and other electrical applications account for 60% of all of the copper produced so the copper is also used in marine applications copper is used in heat exchangers due to its high high thermal conductivity uh, copper is used for pots and pans in jewelry making we use copper for plumbing purpose we use copper and for the production of springs we use copper here we can see few more amazing facts of copper that copper is used in printed circuit board which is used in electronic and electrical component in high speed trains high speed trains contains about 20 tons of copper components mainly in the transformers and in drive motors for coins making copper is used for making the coins euros contains various copper alloys such as nordic gold which is developed for uh, currency the other one is fireworks the color of fireworks uh, uh, depends on its ingredients and copper uh, contributes blue color in wind turbines 30 tons of copper per turbine in ring generators are used in wind turbine 
थैंक यू गाइज फॉर योर अटेंशन होपिंग यू गाइज हैव लर्न समथिंग न्यू इन अवर वीडियो to get notification of upcoming video subscribe our channel and press bell icon thank you